prahade de bol shatala hade ke mandala ha so pre de bol shaprahad de bol shapra angels of touch me in the name of jesus angels of god we need your touch tonight oh god father oh god i pray for your angels to touch me tonight in the name of jesus my heart is ready oh god my heart is ready oh god i pray angels of god you touch me tonight ma suta ibraha de leko shatala bo shatala ba mandala ha so pray de get the bo shata e de bo shata my heart is ready tonight oh god angels of god minister to me tonight touch me tonight ma ha to play de bo shatala braha de ke de bo sha mandala ha de le bo sha braha de le kazita ma rika braha de de bo shata ma la rosota i ka rosote de bo i ka rosote de bo shatala ba ma ka to braha de le bo shatala e ze de bo ma li braha de le ke braha de le zota ma la suta i ka ro de bo shat ma la roso bo sha ha de le ka ba de bo Mandala ha so tere ka rozo tere ba ha sa de Mandele ha pra ha de le ko sha a de le ka ta Hallelujah Amen Hallelujah Are you ready? Can you allow me to sit? Huh? You are seated eh? Can you allow me to sit? Okay, I want you to push this close This puppet I want to enjoy also the way you enjoy sitting down. Isn't it? Huh? You people, you are not fair. Huh? Hallelujah. I've been praying all this time. Work on the sound. I've been praying all this time that one day also I can be a member. I'm telling you. It's just very nice, you know, to, to, to sit down and uh, not working. And uh, you are expecting another man to, to feed you every day. Yeah, that's, that's a pride of uh, being a son. Because you don't work. But your father who is in heaven feeds you every day. Praise God. So I always pray that one day, you know, I can just sit down and uh, just also enjoy life. You know, it's very stressing to, to minister from January to December. If you are not caught genuinely, you can resign. And... Uh, Look for a better job so they can give you a better salary. Praise God. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Mm. Let's smile. Smile. Hallelujah. Tell them. And there's misunderstanding of uh, of angels the personality of angels hallelujah so by the grace of God I am praying that I should open up even though I'm teaching you you must understand that I will not teach you everything yeah I will not teach you everything unless my spirit is happy who has an experience with them. And there are some who talk about angels without an experience of them. So, if I talk about angels, I know what I'm talking about. I have seen them. They have ministered to me. How is it that it's very easy for you to do deliverance. So tonight, I want to open up the book. So if you are ready, I will teach you. And if you are ready to learn, you will write. Who are angels? Who are angels? Work on my microphone, it's very dry. Who are angels? Who are angels? 
who are angels. Before you understand the ministry of angels, you need to understand their personality, who they are. I hear people talking about, I saw an angel. If an angel could appear live here, one person will remain. That is me. <laughs> one person will remain. The rest, that door will be very small. I'm telling you, there are people that pray for angels. Lord, I want to see an angel. And if God can open up your eyes to see who are angels, some of you, you will not be able to stand. Now, who are angels? Angels, these are sons of Elohim Benair. Elohim Benair. They are called sons of God. Sons of God. This category of creatures, they were created, not formed. They were created by God, given an assignment to worship. To worship. So these creatures, they were created before man or before Adam. They were created before Adam. And uh, when we look at these creatures, they are different completely from human beings. Completely. They are different. Very different. They don't eat in heaven. <laughs> they don't eat. Lucifer. It means the morning star. And he was a cherubim. And the word cherubim means he that covers. Tell them about he that covers. Come on, shake your neighbor. Tell them he that covers. So the, the, the name, the name Lucifer is not a bad name. Tell them about it's not a bad name. Tell them about it's not a bad name. You can even name your boss. <laughs> Tell about it's not a bad name. You can even give it to your neighbor. Yes. Because you must understand that the name Lucifer, this was the name that God Almighty had gave him before the fall. Before he had fallen, he had a good name. His name was so much precious. He was so much glorious. To the point that this man, when he was walking, the Bible says colors were coming out of his, 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 his garments. He was covering the throne of God. So the word the cherubim, it means what? He that what? Covers. Say he that covers. Say, he that covers. So this category of angels, they are given the task to cover. Oh, Shabbal Hadi. Go to Revelation chapter 5, verse number 1. In heaven, there are creatures, if God could bring them down here, some of you will run away. Revelation. Zasusha 
la no shadiga asadiga Revelation chapter 5, verse number 1, the Bible says, And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne. Oh, no, 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 verse number 4. Verse number 4, verse number 4, verse number 4. Are you there? Hmm? Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Let's read... Gen, uh, uh, Revelation chapter number 4 verse number 1 1, 2, 3, go and after this I looked and behold a door was open in heaven oh, 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 oh and uh, lo behold I looked then a door was open in heaven so heaven has doors heaven has an entrance that's the reason before you enter heaven there is need of authorization after this I looked and behold a door was open in heaven and uh, the first voice which, which I heard was as it were of a, tr uh, a trumpet talking with me which said come up hither and I will show thee things which must be hereafter verse number 2 let's read together 1, 2, 3, go and immediately I was in the spirit Verse number three, one, two, three, go. And he that sat was to look upon like a jaffa and a sudden stone. And there was a rainbow around about the throne in sight like unto a merit. Verse number four. Okay, from there, from there, I want us to read verse number seven. Verse number seven. Are you ready? One, two, three, go. And the first beast was like a lion. Okay, okay. And the first beast was like a what? So on the throne of God, on the throne of God, there is about four beasts. Come out of the earth now. Are you listening? Come out of what? The earth. Now, we beast that we see in verse number seven, the Bible says, and the first beast was like a lion, which means it's not a lion. It was just like, not that it's a lion. They, they could not describe it. They could not describe it. This creature looked like a lion, but it's not a lion. Hmm. And the second beast, like a calf, and the third beast had a first of a man. And the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. How many beasts? Four beasts. Say four beasts. So, on the throne of God, where there are wars, eh? there are wars, a man called what? Lucifer. Wars given the task to cover up the throne of God. Not only him, but the Bible says there were also four beasts. These creatures, they were, if they can appear live, you can run away. There was a lion, there was a calf, there was also a creature that had a what? The face of a man. Not that it is a man. But it is just hard to take up the face of a man. Not only that, the Bible said there was also a creature that looked like an eagle. An eagle. Not only that, I'm coming back. The Bible says this cherubim called Lucifer who was given the task to cover up the throne of God, the Bible says, when he rebelled, remember he was an angel, when he rebelled, now people, they began to give him names according to his deeds. 
That's the reason in Nigeria they call him Jabulos. Is it Jabulos or what? Equins. How do you call him in Spedi? Huh? Diabolo? Huh? Huh? Every tribe, they gave him a nickname. Because of his deeds. Now, so after he had fallen, the Bible says he had connived with a third of the angels. With a third of the angels. And the Bible says all of them, they were casted down. And when, when they were casted down, and him together, his name was changed. From being the morning star, he became a tailorist. Is now called Satan. The one who persecutes brethren. The one who is a causer of sicknesses. Now, who is Lucifer? Who is Lucifer? You need first to understand that Lucifer is an angel. <laughs> Lucifer was an angel. You need to understand. If you understand then you will know how to defeat him. Lucifer was with God at first. He knew the ways of God. That's a reason the Bible says he transforms himself into an angel. Into an angel of light. Not that he's light. He has the ability to manipulate the power of God. That's a reason if you see a, a fake prophet, that is a sign that they are genuine prophets. So if you see an angel from God, that is to show you also Satan has angels. He has angels. This man called Lucifer, if you read the book of Isaiah chapter 28, you hear description there. He's the founder of pride. <laughs> He's a founder. He's the executive manager. Any man you see having pride, Satan is his boss. <laughs> Tell about, be careful. Tell about, be careful. Who is your boss? <laughs> when he, the Bible says, Satan began to speak. He said, I will exalt myself. I will, I will exalt my throne. I will, I will exalt my throne far above the most high God. Pride. This angel who, is, who was a cherubim, who was an archangel covering up the throne of God. Now the man was so much contaminated. The Bible says sin was found in him. And the Bible says he became so notorious. He wanted to be independent. And God kicked him. Pride. The man had pride. This spirit of Lucifer, or these angels of Lucifer, they have entered the church. We have so much pride. We have men of God who have got pride. Pastors who have got pride, they don't know that they are serving Lucifer indirect. Lucifer is their boss indirect, is using them. Because this man is very classic in his doing. Let me tell you. Oh, what? When I was growing up, I saw people drawing the devil that is, he has got horns, he's black. That's a lie. The devil is in suits. The devil is in miniskirt, powder, what and what. That's a lie. 
You. <laughs> the devil that you. <laughs> Someone got healed. Got healed. And said, I want the devil now. You. The, the Bible says that this man is about 3,000 years with experience. And you are just 25 years. You are just 25 years and you are telling a man who is 3,000 years full of experience. He has attacked presidents. And you don't know how to pray on top of it. You don't, you don't give offering. You don't give tithe. And you are inviting him. This man is very dangerous. He is an atom of pride. Pride is the ability of exalting yourself on a level that you cannot obtain. We have too many believers full of pride. That's the reason the Bible says that he gives more grace to the humble. Because God, our Father, is a humble God. That's the reason he said, come, and to, come, come, come. Let us talk together. He's a humble God. He wants, he wants to talk to you. Pride. Satan had the pride. Even when, even when he made a mistake, he was not ready to go and apologize. That's the spirit of Satan. Spirit of Satan. If a person has done something wrong in the church, something wrong, he knows that he is, is the one who is, who is wrong. He can't say, I'm sorry. Satan. There are women who are carrying Satan. They can't say sorry. They are Mr. Right or Mrs. Right. They are always right. They are always right. Pastors who are always right. <laughs> Ushers who are always right. This man, when he committed a catastrophe in heaven, if he was a wise, a wise angel, and he was a beloved of the Lord, beloved of the Lord, if he was wise, he would have gone to ask for apology. He said, Lord, have mercy. But the man thought that he would make it. Up to now, heaven is closed for him. He can't return. He that was a friend of God become an, became an enemy. Pride makes people that love you to hate you. Pride makes people that used to love you to hate you. Pride will take away your destiny helpers. Pride will take away even the man that is sent from God. Pride has made a lot of destinies to be on one point for the rest of their lives. He said, I will exalt myself. I shall become like God. You are not like God. You can never be on the same level with God. You can't. One of the problems that is in marriage is when a woman becomes on the same level with her husband. If you want to have problem, you want to have problem as a wife, be on the same level with your husband, equal, equal, 50-50, gender rights. Satan wanted to be equal with God. To share power. No, 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 no. We, 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 listen, listen. We are not partners. Satan was not a partner of God. Satan, Satan used to serve God as his son. Pride. Tell about pride. Tell about pride. Pride will shut all your doors. Even those that you, we are ready to help you, they will not help you. Pride. 
The man, after he made a mistake, he was not ready to go back. Pride will always, let me tell you, the, the shoulders have never gone ahead the head. You're not hearing this. <laughs> Your shoulders will never go ahead the head. Satan was too, too big to be controlled. Let me tell you, prophetess, any person in your ministry who is too big to be controlled is an atom of pride. That person, don't give them position. How do you know a person of pride? Give them position. That's the only way. You want to, you want to, you want to know a person, how he behaves. Just give, let him test power. All these that became rebel readers, they were, they were good men. <laughs> they were good men. After just entering power, testing power, ha! They became too big. I can't be controlled. That's what is killing a lot of presidents. Too many presidents. The time when they were not presidents, they were coming to church. Now they are president, they can't come to church. Very soon they'll be out. They'll come back again. Pride will make you lose your position. Satan was the firstborn of God. God loved him so much. Let me talk about pride today. Give me that microphone. I feel it. Pride. 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 Any man, any man, any woman, any married woman who can never be controlled, who can never be sat down, To be spoken to or to be advised, pride has entered. And whenever pride has entered, my brother, you will lose your church. You will lose your church. You will lose your position. You will lose everyone. And you will remain alone. Tell about pride. Tell about pride. Whew. Women, are you listening? You married women. Are you listening? Hey, I'm talking to you. Are you listening? Pride. When we talk about pride, we are not talking about only men. Also, there are women of pride. Women of pride. Too much pride. You, 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 you. I are desalabahate. will make even those that want to help you not to help you. There are men of God that are portraying a picture like they are millionaires, yet they are poor people. Even when someone comes in the church and wants to bless you, in, in the mind you have built a picture that you are a millionaire, they will withhold their blessing. Pride will make you who make you become what you are not. Right. Become a general manager of liar. Lying. General manager. Or in what? Lying. Pride. Pride. This angel was a good angel. When he came here on earth, he came to bring problem for us. Look. Pastors, if you want to go forward in life, let me show you something. 
I, I will not lie to you. By the special grace of God, I've seen things that some of you have not seen. Any pastor that does not greet his members. Satan. He has invaded. The are pastors. Let, 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 let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. The are pastors that are too big for their members. Too big to be controlled. Too big, too big even for their members to even have time. Let me tell you, you will lose members. Don't implement what another man of God has been implementing. For you, it will fail. If that man of God does not meet his people, you are not that man of God. Or scored in that area. Pride. Any man of God who can't even greet his members. Any church member. You know, the spirit of, the spirit of pride works with disrespect. Whenever you see someone begins to disrespect the anointing or the oil, that man is up to dying. You'll be walking yet you are dead. You are waiting for the coffin. So there's a lot of people who are dead. They are only waiting for the death when they, they will put them in the, in the coffin. Pride. I spoke to one of my son. I said, my son, look, this is how you do things. You, 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 you do like this. He said, ah, papa, you know. I said, okay, it's okay. Pride will make a man to have feces on his trousers and to walk. <laughs> and he's saying, ah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Man, you are smelling. I am okay. I am okay. <laughs> your trousers is torn you say ah no I just love it I just love it I am okay you are going to embarrass yourself one day I'm coming out of my house I'm coming out of my house my wife checks checks at me and say ah dad you know mm, these trousers it's not okay you know it's very tight it's very tight it's very tight and I say I said ah no I, you know I just love it as I was about to take one step, a miracle happened. <laughs> Are you listening? Are you listening? If you want to run away from embarrassment, run away from the atom of pride. Pride has destroyed many men of God. Pride has made many destinies to stand still. You will suffer embarrassment for the rest of your life with that spirit of pride. I'm one man of God that I'm easy. Very easy. Very easy. You, you, you can't even know that God uses me. I meet people, I talk to them, I respect people. But you, without even anointing, you don't greet. <laughs> without even anointing. Without even anointing. God says he resists the pride and he lifts up the humble. The more you become a humble, he gives you more grace. You become a humble, he gives you more grace. You become a humble, he opens up doors for you. That is God Almighty. Pride. It will make a woman, it will make a you know, it, it, let me tell you, some of you who are Return the soldiers. I'll be realistic. I'm your father here. Some of you who are returned the soldiers or ex married women. The problem is not a man. The problem is you could not humble yourself and understand your husband. Let me, do, let, 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 let me put it like this. I hear women saying, I needed the angel. That's a lie. 
There is no angel on the face of the earth. You are praying for an angel. Eh? Continue praying. I hear what you say. No, I need an angel. You know, I need a, a, a God fearing man. I need a man who is like, you will never find him. The one that you have found is an angel. If you don't work on him, you don't humble yourself, that man will become a devil. Are you listening to me here? Pride to make a woman even to lose her own marriage. She's, she's not just ready to even iron for the husband. Every day she's on, on lipstick, lipstick. Is the husband going to eat lipstick? Your husband tries to talk to you. Hey, my, my wife, why don't you go away? You, 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 you do. Your husband is about to be taken. There are many women who have lost their angels. Just because of foolishness and pride. They are not ready to cook for your husband. You think he is going to eat from where? You find him on the restaurant, he's busy with a, with a woman who will be like, eh, hey, why were you looking at him? Why, 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 why are you looking at her? Pride will remove you out of your position. Any woman who loses grip on her husband, she has lost him. <laughs> are you listening? You, you, if you're a woman, you, you have lost grip on your husband. Your husband does not see you attractive anymore. You have lost him. Even if when you are there, he doesn't feel anything. You have lost him already. Pride! Pride has destroyed many marriages, many companies, many ministries because of this man called Lucifer. The angel of darkness now. In the church, you will see pride. In the church, you will see pride. The, 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 the press team members, full of pride. You know that a, a person has a, a dangerous, horrible voice. Even when she sings, even when she sings, she removes you out of the spirit. But you see her, she was... He said, no, I just want to stand in front. Even me, I want to lead. The fact is that your voice is bad. Learn. Go through the process of learning. If your voice is not good to be in front, please be behind. <laughs> you know, I've seen those who, are, those who are not qualified, they are the ones that want to lead. Right, you will see. That's the reason. How, how, how do you know the spirit of pride? Look at musicians. The devil was a musician. That's the reason. Any musician in the church. Ah! Problem after problem. Because they inherited from their father. If a musician does not love women, she is born again. If it does not smoke, that one is reborn again. If they don't love money, ah, that one is reborn again. When, they, when, they are, when he's not there, he, he knows that he's the one who's supposed to play the keyboard. He will sit in, in, in the people. And he wants the prophet to call him. Go forbid. You will remain there. <laughs> there are people that God will take them away for God to maintain and keep your heart. Otherwise, 
Though, if, if those people are always on the stage, you will die with heart attack. That's the reason. You as a musician, you must pray a lot because the devil, he knows music. Mike Jackson, he was not even anointed. He could not even heal a spiritual pimple. The moment he sang, people were even crying. <laughs> Others were even dying. He will start, hey, 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 hey. Women will be like, oh, oh, oh. oh <laughs> music. Music. Ha! Huh? Do you know the power of music, you? That's the reason, you know, musicians, they, there's no ugly musician. No ugly as long the man has a voice, I abaji aleharos idabalas. Are you listening? I've seen a person. He was not good looking. The moment he came on the stage, he just said, "Oh, see ya, good." I saw. <laughs> After the service, I was watching. I saw women be like, "Can I have your phone number?" Your phone number. Music. That's the reason you see musicians, they must be spiritual. Because you are not just you are not just entertaining. That's the reason you will see a prophet wanting to chase you because the spirit of a prophet is like a laser bread. Pride. Pride. And especially if there's a musician who knows music. They don't want to be controlled. Say, I me, I know. I know. I know. Pride. Pride will make you even resist advice. Advice. Even when people, they, are, they have seen a problem with you, they are advising you, you will refuse. Say, ah, most people who justify themselves, they are full of pride. Justification is a sign of pride. Whenever you're talking to your son, you're talking to your son, you are busy correcting him. You say, son, this is not good. Whenever you see him trying to defend, ah, no, it's not like this. No, me, I'm not like this. It's a sign for you. Self-justification. I came to my, I, I called one of my sons. I said, son, you know women, they'll kill you. He said, ah, you know, Papa, me, mm, I swear, I swear, me, me, Papa, you know me, you are a prophet. I said, liar. I know you. This is what I'm telling you now. Yet yesterday, he was, I'm confronting him because of what is about to kill his life and he's justifying himself. He said, no, not me. And after a few months, the man came to me and said, Papa, <laughs> I said, I will not pray for you. Go and find another one. I told you. Pride. 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 Tell me pride. Ask your neighbor. Neighbor? Who do you serve? Ask your neighbor. Neighbor? Who do you serve? Pride is in the church all over. All over. All over. One day I was praying. I was praying. I said, Lord, bring all manner of people in the church. I was in my fasting. After I finished my prayer and fasting, God brought people. A foolish usher on the gate stands like a poor. Even to say, how are you, sir? She did not say that. On top of that, she insulted this doctor. Say, look at you. Look at your shoe. Your shoe is saluting heaven. That man, he was sent to even bring money in the church. He decided to take his blessing and went with it. And she came. He said, Papa, you know, you know, there was a doctor who came, but you know, he, he, she was even laughing. You know, I chased him. I said, What did you do? 
She was even speaking it boldly and braggadociously. He said, I chased him. I said, you are fired. I said, go and look for that man. Bring him here. I spent my 21 days for that man to come. And you, just because you did not greet the person, he could not deliver his miracle. Pride. You must understand that any position that God gives you, it is a privilege of serving him. And look, 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 look. If you are a leader, how do you know leadership? Leadership is not a permanent position. Leadership is a position of service. Now people are coming to church for the sake of what? The position. The moment you remove them from that position, you will know who they are. I told my son, I said, starting from today, you will no longer save me. Did I see him? Did I see him? He went by last fight Pentecost. Last fight Pentecost. <laughs> did I see him? I did not see him. If we remove that position from you, will you save God? <laughs> Imagine today, all my pastors say, all of you are my ashes. That's when I will know. Me, I test people. Do you think you can be here as my son without testing you? I will test you. That's the reason. There are sons that when I look at them, I say, this one is mine. This one belongs to another one. I test. Imagine I come to my pastor. I say, okay, all of you, you are my ushers. No pastor. And every Sunday as I'm doing deliverance, they are holding demons. That's when you will see. I love what Prophet T.B. Joshua did. After I gave them, gave the wise men the position to do deliverance and prophesy in the church. And he came out, he said, starting from today, don't. Don't. Don't prophesy anymore. Ah. Here in South Africa, you tell your son, don't prophesy. Don't prophesy. To be all over BBC. I told one of my sons, I said, Don't prophesy. He went and the prophet lied. You know, prophets lying, lying where they go is here, is hammering the side. I told him, Don't don't prophesy. And when he was going to prophesy there, he was using even my name. He said, In the shoes of my father, <laughs> me. <laughs> Am I an atom of missing? Not me, not me. Ah, he's saying the shoes of my father and he goes to miss. <laughs> he, go, he goes to miss. He says, ah, as I'm looking at you, your name is Jelita. And the man said, no, I'm not Jelita. <laughs> I'm Justin. <laughs> Are you listening? And after he did that, I saw the wise men holding demon. That is humbleness. Where you know you are powerful, yet you are saving. Where I see humbleness with all my sons is when I see that someone has a gift and yet when he sees me, he can forsake his gift and they save me. That's where I see. And that is humbleness. In the church, there's full of pride. Too much pride. They, they don't greet. There's no love anymore. No love. No love. It, it has become like, it, the, the church has become like, like a marketplace. That's the reason. If Jesus came in our time, he would have whipped a lot. A lot of people. They would have been whipped. There are some of you, you sell people in the church. You are slave dealers. Slave dealers. What do I mean? 
you betray people in the church. In the church, you betray people. The church has become a place of betray, torment, no love. People, they don't... They, they, <coughs> if you are sick today, you will know whether people love you. Have a problem today, that's when you will know. Even those that you say they love you, they will run away from you. I told my son, I said, my son, it is, you, I told my son, I said, son, ministry is not zeal only. You can have a zeal, but a reality will strike you. The zeal will live and reality, it will strike you. You need to reach a level where there is no member in the church and you are alone with a pulpit. No one even to encourage you like this. Reality. Reality. Even those that you say they love you, you will know. Whenever you have a problem. Me, I have always seen people that love me. Even from when I was nothing. I've always seen them. I said this one. He loves me genuinely. Genuinely. In the church, there's no love. They don't love each other. There is, there is, ah, there is gossip. You know gossip. They will gossip. You know, you know, they will gossip their own pastor. They will start from his shoe. Do the hair. Be like, ah, why does he do the hair like that? Is he Chinese or what? Does it matter? They, they will gossip their own pastor. They will gossip their, their wife to the pastor. They will gossip the child to the pastor. They will gossip everything. They will just be, they will just be against, against the anointing. Judas was against the anointing, but he was not living. There are people, they will be against the anointing. They don't live. So what do you do with such kind of people? You give them a, you give them a firing letter or a transfer letter. He said, I thank God for your service. I want to transfer you. To another man of God. Because I have failed you and I have failed God. Such, such kind of people, they will never leave the church. The, any new member that comes in the church, they are after. They are like a parasite. Or a mosquito. That's his blood. Whenever a new member, they have got data of the church. They know who is new. They know who is old. And you hear when they appear say, ah, we started with a prophet. We started with a prophet. We saw the prophet. Where did you start with the prophet? Where did you start with the prophet? It was the work of grace that God collected you to see the beginning of his work. Ah, we know Papa. Ah, we know him. We know him. Ah, Papa, he doesn't talk. That day you'll be surprised. Papa who doesn't talk, he'll fire you. People in the church, church, church has become like business. I'm asking myself, where are we going? Where are we going? You sent me a what? A letter? You sent me a letter. I saw your letter. Eh? You sent me your letter. Yeah. He wrote me a, a letter. And in the night I was reading it. His letter. He could not see me, but he sent me a letter. And it arrived to me. Imagine it. I'm, I'm very big. If I had said, okay, um, let me just leave it. I read all what you, you wrote there. That is humbleness. Even now, I'm still reading letters. You... I send you a letter, you. Pride. Tell me about you must run away from the spirit of pride. Pride. No, we started with the prophet. We started with him. Ah, me. Me, I visit the prophet every day. 
every day. I even eat with him. I even see him when he puts on a shirt. Hey, you know, I know, I know. I know, Papa. I know. I know. I know. Yeah, ask her. She doesn't know me. Even her. She doesn't know me. Ask her. She doesn't even know me. I'll just wake up. Pa. She's looking at me. I said, I don't want to eat. Ah, Daddy, don't you want to eat? I said, I don't want to eat. And after some minutes, I go. I go pray, 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 pray. I come back. I'm busy on my things. You don't even even your wife. That's the reason. <coughs> if God gave me a woman who was a wala wala woman, that's the reason. Prophets like us, we don't need yes sir. You need a strong someone who can see. Yeah. Mm -mm. As a result, let me tell you, most men of God who married vegetables, most men of God who married vegetables, those women broke along ministry. Because in ministry, in ministry, my daughter, don't pray for a man of God. There is a time where in your house you are saving people, you don't have food. Reality will strike you. <laughs> Nothing completely. Account zero, zero. And then people are waiting. They are a lot. They are waiting for you to bless them. As a result, other women of, uh, 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 some women of men of God, they end up becoming frustrated, insulting church members. Ah, do I eat you? You hear frustrated <laughs> wife of a man of God. Every time, every time when she sees a woman, um, the husband standing with a woman, she's a calculator. In the house, she's like, I will show you when you reach home. Frustrated women. That's the reason ministry, you need to be very strong. You need to humble yourself. Listen. You are privileged that you saw me. If it was not in the plan of God, you wouldn't have seen me. I wouldn't have even... If God, if God had given me a choice, he said, select a place. Ah. America. By this time, I would have gone. But you know, God does not work with our choice. He leads us to places. Even when God is leading you, you must be humble. You must be humble. Sometimes God will lead me to a person. You must speak to that person. I humble myself to bring out the word of God. Tell about you must be humble. Only the protocol must not be humble. Only the protocol. Be humble to God. Be humble to God. Lift up your hands. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, break. Break. Say, break. Every spirit of pride. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. I buried one of my friends. My good friend. I buried him because he was full of pride. I buried him. And up to now, I still remember. I buried him. I spoke to him. I said, listen, this thing is after your life. He did not listen. I told him, don't go. And the man, because he was a prophet, he decided to go. He died in a car accident. One of the precious man of God. Used to hear God. But because pride had entered him, he 
could not listen from others. There are sometimes as a prophet, God would decide to be mute on you for the sake of him revealing secrets to other people. Balak, you remember the story of Balaam and Balak? Huh? You remember? Huh? Do you remember? The prophet was hired to curse Israel. Along the way, the angel of the Lord appeared. The prophet did not see the angel. All this time he was seeing the angel. By that time, God had to shut his eyes. God will shut your eyes not to see. That does not mean others are not seeing some things about you. The eyes of a prophet, it was shattered. This time, it was a donkey. A donkey had to see an angel and the donkey spoke, began to prophesy. He said, why are you beating me? What did I do to you? The prophet could not descend. The prophet could not see. But this time, it was a donkey. The donkey had to speak for the prophet to know that God has warned him. Do you know that even, even your dog can give you a sign? Even your child can give you a sign. I woke up in the morning. My son was like, Dad, do you see Jesus? He was saying, Daddy, do you see Jesus? I looked. I could not see. I could not see. Dad, do you see Jesus? He spoke almost five times. Dad, do you see Jesus? I said, I, I, I can't see. I can't see. And then I asked him a question. How is he looking like? From the description he gave, I said, this is real. Right away, I engaged myself in a dimension so that I can see what he's seeing. If I, if I could not listen, I wouldn't have gotten the message. Whenever you approach a prophet, humble yourself. Don't talk too much. Don't talk too much. There are some of you, that's the reason pro, the prophet doesn't, doesn't want to see you because you talk too much. Because whenever you see a prophet, you must, the prophet must not listen from you. You must listen from him. He would talk. You, you, you know there's some, some, some people like that. They would talk three hours. He's twitching, twitching. Papa, I, 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 are, you, are you done? No, I'm not done. Remaining this. Be sensitive. Be humble. I don't know. I was supposed to preach on this, the spirit of angels, uh, on, on the personality of angels. I don't know why God just led me on pride. I just don't know. Pride. Pride has destroyed a lot. Pastors are not fasting. They're now eating. And on Sunday, they come and preach a dry message. A dry message. The platform of the prophetic ministry is prayer, the spirit of prayer. The spirit of prayer. The spirit of prayer. Humble yourself in prayer. Humble yourself in fasting. Humble yourself in the things of God. There are places that I would love to take my sons. But before I take you, I need to look at you. Whenever I'm close to somebody, when I speak to you, the first thing I know, I detect your spirit. I detect your spirit. The moment I just know your spirit, I know that you, I will never be close to you again. That's the reason you see, a prophet was close to you and now is busy distancing himself, distancing himself, distancing himself. That is a sign for you. It is a sign for you. Be vigilant. Be what? Be vigilant. I'm praying that God must continue to make me humble. Yeah. 
This is my prayer every day. Even when I'm on top, even when I become big, I must remain humble. Just God gave you 200,000 rents. You said, God, I stopped coming to church. Just 200,000 rents. You decided to disobey God. <laughs> and this time God says, because you have decided not to come to church, I have closed 4 million for you. Pride. There are people who are too, bo they are too big to come to church. What am I going to do to church? Ah, no, I can't come to church. When you die, when you are on the hospital bed, there are people who are very influential. They had cars and the cars could not save them. And on the hospital bed there, they'll be calling and say, can you go for me any pastor? Go for me, what? Any pastor. Oh. Any pastor. Go for me, any pastor. So that he can pray for me. So that God can remember you. My brother, God will not remember you. Number one, the reason why God will not remember you, there is nothing to remember of. <laughs> what is he going to remember you of? You have never done anything for him. You have never been in his church. You have never picked a chair. You have never cleaned the church. You have never, you have never cleaned the drum set. You want God to remember you for what? That's the reason I can never die. I can't die. Every time when I have a problem, I say, God, every time I'm in the church meeting your people, I can't die. I can't die. Because my service provokes God to remember me. You want God to remember you? Hey, do you want God to remember you? What have you done for him? Listen. I have a problem. There are some times I feel my body misbehaving. My body, not sick, but misbehaving. And I'll find that I'll stay with flu for 10 days. Or maybe headache, stomach, stomach uh, 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 pain for 10 days, like that. But while in the process, while I'm feeling pain, bring a sick person. It doesn't take... 10 minutes, right away they get healed. But how does God touch my life? I want to show you. How does he touch my life? The reason why God touches my life, the reason why God blesses me, it's because I have decided it's a choice to remain humble. A choice. I talk to you. I talk to him. I talk to him. I talk to everyone. I minister to everyone. I see everyone the same. No segregation. No favoritism. You ask me for the what? For the code of DDTV. <laughs> Is it? Imagine if 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 he asked me for the code of DD, I would have said, ah, no. Since I'm the one, you watch me. No, no, I, you, you, you can't. But humbleness. You want to be healed? Humble yourself. Humble yourself. You want God to bless you? Humble yourself. Humble yourself. We lack people in this generation who are humble. The Bible says Moses was the most meekest man, yet God was using him. God was using him, yet he was meek, humble. If God can give you 
houses, if God can give you this church, if God can give you the influence, the influence that I have, will you still serve him? Will you still serve him? If God can give you the gift, the gift, will you still serve him? Turn about humble yourself. Stand up. Are you from you're from where? From Nigeria. Who is this one? Chuku. Sir? Chuku. Chuku. I don't know, man of God. Chuku. I see you doing business. Okay. I see you doing business. Professor. Huh? Okay. Yes, you sir. doing business? Yes, sir. Huh? I want to give you an instruction. Okay, sir. If you will follow the Lord, And obey his commandments. Fail is an instruction. Thank you. Don't do what everyone is doing. Don't do what everyone is doing. Do what everyone is not doing. And see what everyone does not see. It's a parable. Thank you. Thank you, IDC. You want to see what everyone does not see, then they do what they don't do. Amen. I receive. If you do what they do, you will fail. Okay. It's an instruction. Write these words. The Lord will lift you. I receive. I receive. Thank you, Jesus. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Humbleness. God is not looking for, he's not a complicated God. He does not use people that are righteous. If God can give you influence, if God can give you money, if God can can heal you today, will you stay? Will you still come to church? Masha sa, Masha I receive. Will you still remain humble? If God blesses you, will you still remain humble? Yes. Hmm? Yes, Papa. Hmm? If God gives you a Mercedes Benz, will you still carry people? Yes. To bring them to church? Yes. That's a lie. It's true. Yes, Papa. Even the car that you have, you it has got six seaters. You only come alone to church. <laughs> you only come alone to church. Even your neighbors, they don't know about Jesus. The Lord loves you. The Lord will lift you. I receive. This is a prophetic message. I receive. Would you remain humble? Humbleness is not having a calm, calm first. Humbleness is a production of character. Are you doing cars? You're dealing with cars? Huh? You're dealing with cars? Yes, sir. Yes, I know. Yes, Baba. Okay. You're dealing with cars. Sorry, I'm, I'm not prophesying today. Power. I'll start this Sunday. This Sunday. You're dealing with cars. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, Baba. A man.
Emmanuel. Emmanuel. America. There is somebody called Emmanuel, not America. There is somebody called Emmanuel. This Emmanuel is from Deben. No, you are Emmanuel. Uh, don't worry, don't worry. You are dealing with cars. Yes, sir. You, you are dealing with cars, eh? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes. Sir. But you are staying with a woman. Yes, Baba. Eh? Yes, Baba. She's South African. Yes, Baba. Eh? Yes, Baba. Huh? Yes, Baba. But you were married. No. You were married. Yes. I see this lady. She's a South African lady. She's not the first lady. She's not the first one. She's not the first one, this lady that you are staying with. Yes, Baba. Eh? Yes, Baba. Is she the first one? No, sir. Huh? No, sir. Ah, so this is what I'm saying. This lady, keep her. Thank okay. you. Keep okay. Keep her. Sir. She's a destiny helper. Thank you, have Baba. Have you heard me? Yes. You have a good heart, a blessed heart. And uh, you are four steps to destiny. I receive. I receive. Love. I receive. You are how many steps? Four, four steps. steps. I receive. When I say four steps, it's four months. I receive. Okay? Thank four you. months to destiny. I receive. The Lord will bless you. I receive. The Lord will increase you. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Since you stood up, God bless you. Take this. Take this. God bless you. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. I'm Emmanuel. Hey, Emmanuel. Yeah. Hey, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, what do you want God to do for you? Favor. Huh? Favor and protection. Favor and protection. Yeah. I don't mention your prophecy here. Have you heard? Huh? What's your name? Huh? huh? John. Your name is Emmanuel. John. Your name is Emmanuel. Your name is John. When were you born? Which month? When were you born? I was born February 10. Huh? February 10. February, you? 22nd April. 22nd April. Okay. Start. Look at each other. Why are you afraid? <laughs> Do you know him? I never met him before. Huh? I never met him before. I've never met him. No. Stand. Do you know him? When were you born? October 10. October 10. You see there is different, eh? Yes. But I want to show you something. You're from which place? Nigeria. Ah, uh -uh. state. State. Anambra state. You? I was born in Anambra state, but I'm from Enugu state. You? Huh? Benue State. So you two, you two, you are the same. Okay. Same zone, yeah. Anambra State. You Anambra State. You Benin, Benue State. Okay. You, you are the same. Yeah. You, you are the same. What is doing is what you are doing. Yeah, exactly. Professor. What is doing? That's what you are doing. Yeah, for sure. What are you doing? Does a personal business. Uh -huh. I does a personal business. I'm I'm not working for anyone. Uh -huh. yeah. What about this issue of cars? I do sell cars as well. You do sell cars. Uh -huh. You? You're a businessman. Okay. I've seen one thing. The Lord. I saw an angel rounding. You concentrate in car business. You concentrate in car business. I receive. You, you have receive a shop. It. I receive it. You have a shop. Have you heard me? You have a shop. Don't do any walla walla business. I receive. Have you heard? Yes, sir. Ah, that's not where God is calling you from. So, what you do, you open a shop. I see this, this is a clothing. Clothing. Have you heard me? Yes, and the Lord will use you for your family. He will bless you for the sake of your family. I receive. Have you heard me? I you, the Lord, will set you free I'm from the spirit of attack and accusation. Have you heard me? Right. Attack and accusation. There's too many people that are accusing you of things that you have not even done. Have you heard me? Yeah, I'm sorry. Too many people. 
They're accusing you, accusing you, and now you are you are on a run. You are run, you are a running man. You are a running man. You don't know what is chasing you, but you are running. I want to see you. You 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 need direction you. Yes. This is and the man falls down. Okay. All right. So you're a very good man, but I need to advise you of what you are doing. I can't mention I can't mention some things here. Okay. The okay. prophecy is not to embarrass. Prophecy is an atom of wisdom. Okay. Amen. So I advise you, you're a good man. The Lord is about to bless you. I receive it. Please you. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Thank you. Thank Jesus. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands, say, Father. Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. I am blessed. I am blessed. All those that are watching us on DDTV Africa, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord increase you. I receive. In Jesus' name. Your life will never be the same again. I receive it. This Sunday, I invite you for a service called I must carry. Uh, Jesus is a doctor. Jesus is a doctor. Bring all those that are sick, financial sickness, marital sickness, those that are barren, those that have HIV, cancer, diabetes, all manner of diseases. The Lord will be here to deliver you and to heal you from any disease. See you this coming Sunday. Shalom, shalom. God bless you. Put your two hands for Jesus. Power. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. Lift up your hands. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray for an humble spirit. For, for a humble spirit. God must give us a humble spirit. A humble spirit. Lift your hands. Lift your head. Himela. Himela. O kaka, o nyekerua, imela, 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 ezemo, ezemo. Lift your hands wherever you are. Let's sing it. O imela.